Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm still setting up my phone. Look at this. Let's get some light on there. Yes, that's better. Hi, everyone. I think this is quite okay. You're with, you're with so many people. <laughs> I was just watching the last 10 minutes um, at Nunekader video and I saw that there were like 100, 120 people watching or something. That's quite a lot. So let me find my own video. So that's easier to see the comments. I thought I could see the comments, but they don't. <laughs> yes, it is a big brush. So I can't really see your comments on my iPad. I thought they would, but it's not working the way I wanted it. So, okay, so don't feel <laughs> disappointed when I'm don't respond to you guys because that's probably because I'm busy with the brush and I forget to check my phone. <laughs> okay, so, well, it's kind of misleading how big the brush is because when I turn it around like this, <laughs> it really isn't that big. <laughs> well, Olga, I'm always interacting with myself. You know, the moments when you talk to yourself, just walking around the house and you kind of realize after having a conversation for half an hour with yourself that there might be something wrong with you. <laughs> I know the feeling. So let me tell you a little bit about my brush. I actually thought this one was smaller, but then I grabbed it out of this, well, basket that I have with all this stuff. And uh, <laughs> I actually thought by myself, wow, this brush is a bit bigger than I had in mind. <laughs> so let's see how far I can finish it. And well, if I can finish it, I will definitely show you uh, later on how it ended up, but I'm gonna try my very, very best. So I already did some work just to um, work, well, um, try to finish it. <laughs> so I already um, added a layer of gesso. And I wanted to work with some shells and some midform castings, which I think are really adorable. So if you have any questions about the um, supplies that I use or about the elements or the materials, just uh, check out the uh, supplies list in the description box. And these castings um, you can find um, anywhere uh, any place where they sell these on the Facebook page uh, from Midform Casting. So just so you know where to find these. Um, so I'm actually doing a remake of an old product project that I created some time ago. I think it's actually two years ago or something. And I already did a brush just like this one. And I wanted to do a little remake. <laughs> I talk to the birds, I talk to myself, I talk to my dog. Oh, I'm having whole conversations with myself. <laughs> yeah, oh well. They actually say that people that, are, uh, that talk to themselves are very uh, sociable people. So I think it's a good thing. <laughs> yes, thank you. So if you decide to uh, subscribe, if you haven't already, <laughs> thanks upfront. <laughs> oh, 
well, I wouldn't exactly say that I'm Saint Carol, <laughs> Saint Carol, because I really doubt that. <laughs> but I do talk to myself, so that makes me normal. But there are so many things that don't make me normal. <laughs> Yes, well, this is actually something that I came up with and uh, that might be a good idea for some of you. If you do a lot of mixed media, you all know that the table is like one of the annoying things because if you work on a craft sheet and you want to make a video, it's um, actually like brown and I don't necessarily like that. So this is actually a black table and um, there's a, uh, like the a photography sheet that you use for the background. I just cut it in uh, half and it's on top of my table. And on top of that, I, do, I have a glass plate. So that's what I have. So that might be a good idea for some of you. And the glass is like this really thick uh, four millimeters glass. So it's easy to clean and it doesn't really scratch that easy. So I really hope that this is going to like glue and get stuck before I'm finished because I am having a terrible issue with like patience. <laughs> so I hope I can wait long enough to get this dried. So I'm using these little pieces of um, fishnet and I'm actually going to cheat just a little bit. Usually I never would use a glue gun, but now I'm going to do that. Uh, combined with some heavy body gel because I'm a bit scared that the heavy body gel won't dry fast enough so I'm going to use that in combination with some um, glue gun and hopefully that'll work so I was a bit intimate <laughs> intimidated when I heard about the whole brush idea and I was like I can never create a brush within uh, a few uh, within an hour <laughs> that's like that's that's a really bad bad idea for me <laughs> but I'm going to try my very best <gasps> yeah, it's actually this really cheap ass <laughs> like budget store kind of um, brush so it's super easy and super fun to use just make sure that i don't glue my fingers up on top if you hear me say ow you know why haha <laughs> yes i hope so i hope that'll be the idea but I'm not sure if it's going to work but I hope it does but I needed to came, come up with a good solution time wise <laughs> and I thought this might work so let's see we're just going to figure it out together yes an hour is like really 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 short So we have this craft store, so I need to get you guys a little bit lighter because otherwise I won't see what I'm doing. Wow, this is not going to work. Okay, so there is this store uh, in the village that I live in and uh, this craft store and there it's um, owned by this really lovely lady and I was just starting out with my videos a couple of years ago <laughs> and she was watching my f uh, one of my first videos and then uh, the second the day that I came to the store she was like well Cindy you really did do a great video but uh, halfway through I was like please can you put down that flower put down the flower go girl you can do it <laughs> because I was so hesitating about where to put stuff but I think I kind of <laughs> improved my um, decision-making skills by now. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying you, you yourself so far. It's like this thing staying at home and 
after I'm most of the time at home right now I'm I'm working from home and I only go to the store some sometime but most of the time I ask my boyfriend to go inside because I think it's well kind of a hell <laughs> to go into stores right now because of the people are almost scared for each other so it's I think the stores at the moment are quite overwhelming <laughs> so I'm very happy that Nikki does want to visit the grocery store for us but that's the only thing that I do so I'm actually quite happy that we're doing this live <laughs> just so we can socialize a bit but with a great good distance <laughs> and it's fun to connect with people all over the world right okay so this won't work so not only do i use a really big brush i also use shells <laughs> which doesn't really make this any easier but hey <laughs> let's challenge myself so i actually wanted to work with the lindy's gang squirts combined with some Finabare wax, but um, usually I add a list of supplies just so you can check out what I've used and um, these are actually affiliate links, just so you know, <laughs> but uh, for the scrapbook.com store, but um, I found out that most of the squirts were sold out. So I've added some um, magical shakers which are also very cool, but really do work a bit different because they're powdered and squirts are uh, a fluid. But just so you know that I've added some um, color matching magical uh, shakers. This is going to end up quite well, I guess. I hate using a glue gun with all the little threads of glue everywhere. It's super annoying. <laughs> yeah, shells are just, they're just perfect. They don't necessarily need that much of paint or whatever media on top of them because they are pretty, they're, they're, they look also very pretty without any paint on them. I really hope this is going to work. Oh, this really, it seems such a good idea, but now I'm kind of thinking it might be, it might, it might have not have been, have been such a good idea, but let's see. Just going to <laughs> dry this for a little. No, and they're already really uh, nicely textured. So it's kind of a, well, this is a shame to color them because they have such pretty colors already and I think it's really cool to add some clear gesso to them and then add some color just to um, make them like one hole with the rest of the piece but still uh, you can see the colors of the shell so normally I would also add some um, shells on top of here but I know from the first time that I <laughs> used this brush it was like a really tough job to get them on there and stay there so I'm not going to do that but just so you know if you use a brush like this you can definitely do this 
Sandy, I'm from the Netherlands. <laughs> it's good to have some new people here too. So, I think this is going to work quite okay. I still wanted to add a few of these little pieces. I am going to get my soft gloss gel here. And just add a little bit of gel here. I'm trying to uh, keep up with your comments though, but it's <laughs> it's a bit of uh, challenging to watch my phone and <laughs> add my stuff to my brush. So don't be mad at me if I didn't comment you. I haven't neglected you. I just didn't see it. <laughs> okay. I kind of wanted to add some of these fun little beads. I'm not sure if this is going to work with the soft gel though. Maybe add some heavy gel as well. Just to make sure it's going to stay here. I really haven't thought about where to place the shells and um, metal to be honest i haven't told you guys anything about it, how i came up with the composition or anything i just put it on there <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm just going to like get some beads bead in there beads beads just a bit messy one of the things that I really like about mixed media is that you don't have to work like really neat. It's okay if it's a bit messy or if it's a bit uh, not that perfect. I like that. It's a good lesson for people that are a little bit... Um, that always want to create perfect things. <laughs> Oh yes, cleaning the tables. <laughs> I That's one thing that I really hate about mixed media is the mess. <laughs> I just have this thing where I, whenever I'm done and I'm, um, I'm finished with my project, I have to clean. It's just, I think this is one of the uh, rooms in the house that is most of the time pretty well yeah, it's quite neat. <laughs> it's a bit full though with a lot of stuff, but <laughs> I know where to find my stuff and I like it when it's all organized. And yeah, I know. <laughs> I actually have... Okay, so not to make you jealous or anything, but I really like the way how it's organized. So I'm going to show you the box of Midform Casting. So I actually have these boxes. Just a little how I organize my stuff. And this works so well. So I do have a lot of, uh, I have this other box with some stash, you know, but this is like um, really well organized and I really like this. And I have the same for my resin. So just whenever I don't, um, when I'm running out of resin, I just go and sit down for a couple of um, hours well maybe one hour or so and I just create some um, story uh, some uh, stash I think that's called stash <laughs> so just to have them um, ready whenever I want to create something so that that's what I do okay so I'm really hoping this will stay where it should be because I need to paint it <laughs> and I'm not necessarily convinced that I can already. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I mostly use the silicon uh, molds by Prima Marketing just because they are really nice and really detailed. And <laughs> it's always such a challenge to keep everything organized. So last week I, I kind of rediscovered um, watercolor paints and just to watercolor in general. And um, I needed to, um, well, have them organized as well because I had all my watercolor tubes in just a, a basket or like this plastic container and I was really, really annoyed with it. So I actually ended up using the same box. Let me show you. Um, also for my paints so I these boxes are like just amazing because look at this you can also store your paints in them so these are literally the best boxes I've ever bought yeah it's kind of a candy store I think <laughs> I do teach classes here at my house and I have this classroom downstairs and this is at the attic and all the ladies that come up here for the first time always say like during lunch break, uh, can I check out your room? <laughs> and well, I had the same thing when I just started um, this whole mixed media artsy card making thing. I wanted to have a room like this one day so <laughs> yeah well I ended up having one <laughs> but it's just where you have all your stuff organized and just my happy place but I'm not sure if you have seen the video by Finna Bear of her uh, studio craft place that was so cool too. I really loved it. So I'm actually going to experiment with my clear gesso. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's see. Well, Cindy, I actually uh, wanted to do one and I did a small kind of how to organize your craft supplies like video. So the finish bear friend store certain things then it was really a studio tour so i still need to get some stuff uh, organized and cleaned and then i really because i need to clean <laughs> plan but the last couple of weeks i just wanted <laughs> But we have to make a deal that you you all subscribe to my channel because otherwise you will miss it. And then whenever we do a new uh, stream live stream hop, <laughs> you're going to ask me about it again. And then I've already done it. So I think that's a really good reason to subscribe to my channel. So you don't miss the studio tour. <laughs> This actually is quite working well. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I've said to so many people last couple of weeks that it's a good thing that we have internet right now because without being online, we would definitely be so much more lonely and, well, feeling bad about the whole staying at home, coronavirus, people getting sick situation. And now it's, it's still really sad and it's very, very weird and strange to be living at this moment but it is less uh, lonely because of the internet i 
I think my internet connection is really bad at the moment, but I hope I can fix this somehow. Okay, let's, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm back, yay! <laughs> let's hope you guys are back as well. No, I have this connection error, so I switched to mobile connection and now it's better, I think. I hope it's working. Let's hope. Sorry guys, I can't really influence the way my internet connection works. But I think it's better now, I hope. Oh, my iPad is better, so I guess it's better. Let's hope it stays this way. So I think <laughs> that was a little bit of me, my connection and um, YouTube, yay. I'm glad everybody is back, thank you. <laughs> so I actually switched from Wi-Fi to my mobile connection, so I guess this is going to be a little more stable. Let's hope so. But now I have time to let this dry a bit. Yeah, I think that with all the people being at home, being on the internet, it just really isn't working that well for Wi-Fi and internet connection. But I'm glad we can still do lives. So I guess this is okay. Well, now I'm really, really clear. I should have done this like right away. So that's a good lesson for the next time. I always forget to shut down my Wi-Fi whenever I'm doing a live. But I'm back. <laughs> okay, so. This is the brush until now. So the thing is, what, what I really like about a brush like this is that you already have such really nice shading. So I really want to keep um, the way that these shadings are showing, these shadings, shades. So I want to keep those darker spots. So I'm going to try and work with that by adding some darker colors. Uh, wherever there is a dark um, piece, part, dark part. <laughs> I need my black one. So I'm actually going to use a black squirt. Um, so squirts, if you don't know them, um, these are like these really cool jars by Lindy's Gang um, that aren't sprays. So these are the sprays, but they do have a, well, similar uh, substance or similar consistency. So they are fluid, but they are just a little bit thicker. And they work a bit different. So what I'm doing is just making sure that the mica that is in there is getting loose and just mixes very well with the paint or with the ink. And I'm just going to drip a little just where I think the natural darker areas are. And I just trying to emphasize that it's emphasizing right so this is actually a bit of a blue kind of black which is really interesting because i'm working on a brush and i'm going to use more uh, blue as well so it is a really cool 
good fit with the rest of the colors that I'm going to use. So this is actually more of a uh, teal kind of color. So I'm I lay low. I'm like really teal addicted. So <laughs> and I don't really worry too much about getting it too dark because I'm going to uh, a dry brush anyway when it's dried. Um, so I'm going to cover it in a um, well almost whitewashed layer of gesso so it doesn't necessarily is a big deal if it's getting a bit too dark yeah mine too Caroline <laughs> when we just moved to the house where we live in right now Nikki was getting really annoyed by me because when we were moving and we were deciding on our uh, interior choices <laughs> I was only talking about teal like the whole day I just really like the color. <laughs> so I want to add a little bit, really, a little bit more real blue. Just to add a bit more color. And I'm going to clean my shells because I don't want to cover them completely in ink. And this is how it looks right now. So it already looks pretty cool, right? I really like this and the fun thing with the squirts is they are a bit easier to control than uh, the inks are just because the way that you apply them it's easier to drip and just a bit less complicated than um, inks are or just doesn't need uh, necessarily a lot of practice and I think with the sprays you need a bit more practice and they always <laughs> are like a uh, surprise where they they're going to end up on your work so <laughs> yes you can do so many things with shells <laughs> when you're doing mixed media you should always get your shells we were in thailand last january and <laughs> the first thing that i did when we um, arrived at the beach was getting myself some shells <laughs> to take with me so now I'm adding a bit more um, color because I don't only want to use blue. And I like the color composition of blue and um, well, this is South Shore Sand. So it's a bit of a beige uh, sandy color. And that is like the best color together, I guess, for a beach kind of uh, feel so I really like this color combination it's a bit rustic and just nice so if I want to um, dry brush this I should definitely make sure that it's dry because <laughs> As the name says, it needs to be dry to dry brush. And would I dry brush on top of a wet layer? It just won't work. So I'm going to take some time to 
really get this dried up and maybe add a bit of um, crackle paste as well let me see there's always there there's always a reason to use crackle paste there's never a reason to not use it <laughs> so i'm just adding a quick layer um, most of the crackle paste you can dry with your heat tool but um, remember that drying um, crackle paste with a heat tool um, doesn't give you that like really dramatic cracks or anything it does crack but not as good or not as big and dramatic as it would be uh, when you dry it just with by air <laughs> well i never really thought about it like that but that's really true <laughs> this is like the only moment that we need to use crack <laughs> only in our arts So I just keep challenging myself more and more just to add crackle paste is like this really idiot, uh, idiotic idea because it's never going to be like completely dry in like 10 minutes or so, 20 minutes, but let's see. Uh, this is really cool. So this, um, what is happening here? This is something that's usually only happening on... Um, like uh, synthetic um, pieces or maybe plastic or something because um, now my gesso is also like crackling but I think that's really really cool so I, I really don't mind but that's just because my um, gesso is drying underneath as well So whenever you don't know what to do with your texture, you just should ask some crackle paste because that, that is going to work well on everything. <laughs> no, I haven't, but a crack failure sounds really <laughs> interesting. Okay, so this is almost dry. So now I'm going to add a bit of um, Finnebear's wax. And this is the Antique Brilliant. So it's going to be uh, mostly brown, but that's okay because I'm using the brown anyway. And I kind of like the way this uh, looks on top of the white, especially in combination with the rest of the um, uh, brush. So I'm cheating a little bit because I'm not using, I'm not doing anything with the back, <laughs> but well, you'll forgive me. <laughs> so you guys know that next stop is the Fantastic Finnebear, right? <laughs> So I'm really, really looking forward to her live stream because those brushes really um, inspired me uh, to create more mixed media, especially like this type of mixed media. So those were kind of my inspiration. <laughs> but I guess Finn's work is like <laughs> everybody's mixed media inspiration. So. So this is looking really cool, I guess. I wanted to add some of these uh, balls, but um, it's actually quite okay just the way it is. And otherwise I would have uh, would need to paint them again. So I'm just leaving them as they are. What are we going to do next? 
I wanted to add some pearls, but I need to have the right colors. So let me see if I, ooh, that's nice. That is just the right one. Let me see if I have a bit more of those. So I'm like the organized crafter. <laughs> I have everything in boxes. It's crazy. Okay, so I need to look for more of those blue ones. I hope I have them. Yes, I have a couple. I need to get some new ones because I like those blues. So I'm just going to quickly add them. with my glue gun. So the fun thing is, <laughs> I actually have ADHD, which is a funny thing because I'm really organized in this room. But the reason that I am this organized is because I'm really disorganized. <laughs> and um, it, I just couldn't like function well when I wouldn't organize stuff. So it's actually, well, yeah. In, in the Netherlands, we have this saying that every um, bad thing comes with a good thing. And it's not like that it's a bad thing or something because it's just making me who I am. But it does uh, make me like this really uh, good at organizing stuff and, and um, yeah, how do you, you know, the sheets, whenever we need some sort of a sheet or some sort of overview on my work, everybody's saying, oh, let's, let's get Cindy to do that because she's really good at that. So it's almost finished, guys. I actually, wow, I don't know, but I've actually managed to finish this in like 45 minutes or so. How is this even possible? But I still need to lighten it. So let's hope I can show you guys just a little. It's for me, it's a finishing touch. Yes. Ah, dankjewel, Miriam. <laughs> yes, I'm always a bit scared of those hours. <laughs> but I'm glad I already added... Um, just one layer of gesso because that's like really annoying and it is a black brush so thanks Annika and this was a sneller <laughs> boy when that wax is getting hotter look at this This really looks good. So let's make it a little more lighter. So I actually wanted to add this as well. So this is a nice thing to know. Um, normally I would would have add some cheesecloth as well. So this is like cheesecloth or um, well the you can always also buy this like to cover wounds. I'm not sure how to call it, but you can like rip these threads and it's really making this really cool texture on top of uh, projects like this oh well gas gas cool we in in holland we actually call it gas well gas we have this really weird g so it's actually the same word <laughs> But just so you know, if you want to create a, a project like this, 
You should ask Goss. Goss. <laughs> um, where is my jet? So, okay, so I'm going to quickly do some dry brushing. See if I still have a clean brush somewhere. I need a slightly smaller one. Luckily, we mixed media artists also always have some spare new brushes lying around. And now I'm just adding gesso with a dry brush and just adding it to everything just to lighten it up. This is something that I really like to do. Just to soften the colors. It just makes it a little bit more muted or whitewashed. It's a little less intense. But that's also just like it's it's taste because I like the more muted colors, but I can definitely imagine that a lot of you might think right now, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't make it lighter. Yes, it is like a seaworn building. Yeah, like you just d dive in a, an ocean and this is what you find whenever you swim into this shipwreck or something. It's a bit like that. I should add a bit more green though then. Okay, so now I'm just, I wanted to add a bit, I wanted to add a text, but I'm not going to do that because I like it the way it is. But I do want to add maybe some glitter or some, I'm going to add glass glitter. That is the best. If I can find it. Just can't find my glass glitter. That's too bad. So I'm not that organized because now I can't find some things. But I can add the white one, that's cool too. Or maybe even the beads. Now, I'm going to add this one. So this is, I'm going to do that with some glossy accents and I know that really isn't something that you should do with glossy accents. <laughs> it isn't meant <laughs> for this, but I kind of like to use it because it's really like fluid. It's just easy to spread around. If it's not all dried in. Okay, so I'm going to use a different <laughs> glue. Oh, this is not working. Usually I have this needle lying around to 
get those little tubes open, but couldn't find that either. So this is actually a glue that is going to dry transparent, but now it's just looking white. Yeah, it does look like a shipwreck, right? It's pretty cool. I really didn't think of that myself, but I do like it. So now I'm just adding a bit of glass glitter. So the remaining pieces that don't glue on top of my brush are just going to fall into this little thingy. And that is super easy. Yes. So get a test anyway, because I like it. Dream, I like that. I found a sticker with Dream on it. That's just perfect. So for those of you that <laughs> already have seen more of my videos, know that I always do this. I just, I like to add these words on top of um, a sheet of um, corrugated cardboard. Actually, a thin sheet. And it's just looking really cool. So now I'm just, yeah, it's by a Dutch brand, so I'm not sure if you can buy it outside of Holland, but it's just this, so you probably can find it anyway. It's not that. Yes, and now it's almost done, and I'm right on time. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I did make a mess, but that's okay. It really does look the same as my old brush, so that's cool. I really did a remake. I'm just going to quickly. Um, they're actually an old sticker sheet uh, from uh, Marta. Maremi Small Art, Maremi, this one. Oh, it's by 13 Arch, actually. So these might still be available, but I'm not sure. I have this for, I think, maybe three years or so. So, but look them up. Okay, guys, so I'm finished. Whoa, I'm very proud of myself. It's like three minutes to nine here. <laughs> I made it, yay. <laughs> So you might have guessed that working on a time schedule isn't my best thing, but I did it. Look at this. Yay. It's finished. So dream, guys. <laughs> okay, so your next stop is our lovely friend Anna. AKA Finna Bear. So um, you can check out the link in uh, descrip the description box, but also if you search for Finna Bear, uh, you will find the live. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up when you're still here. And um, yes, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the um, live stream hop, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks you. Have a great day, night or <laughs> whatever. Bye guys.